Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet tool combined with null objects and a multi-layered multi character to create a walking puppet that has moving arms, moving head, you know, creates a relatively realistic walk. So, alright, so here we go. I'm going to do a leg first, um, since it's one of the major components of a walk cycle. And using the principles of the leg, um, you can do the rest of the rest of the character. So let's get started. So the first thing to do is let's see what leg we're looking at. We're at uh, leg left. Okay, so we're going to do the left leg, the inner inner thigh. I'm going to move them over here. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to create a null object, which I believe got created over here. I'm going to drag it over. I'm just going to change the color of it to green. Um, okay, and I'm going to name it leg left via. Okay, this is essentially where we're going to use this part. This is where the leg will rotate at the hip, right here. So let's look in. Okay, I'm going to duplicate that. And this will, the next one will be the knee, leg left, knee, okay. And I'm going to bring it here. You could put it in the front here. I'm going to push it a little more to the middle when it is too close to the front. The, the distortion is going to be a little bit weird. Um, okay, so the next thing is the ankle. So let's call this uh, leg left, ankle. Oops. I'm going to do the heel. I'll put that around here somewhere. Leg left and rename heel. Uh, oops. Uh, to rename a layer, you just click on it and press enter. Uh, duplicate the layer again. Drag it, drive it over da -da -da, to the toe. This will be leg left toe. And let's do one more. And this will be the ball of the foot. So basically the point where the toe will rotate. Uh, leg left, uh, foot, ball. I don't know what that's called. Okay, so um, also I'm going to put reorder them. Just to make it a little more clear, easier to deal with. Uh, ankle goes here, okay. So basically I'm going from the top, the tibia, to the knee, to the ankle, to the heel, to the ball of the foot, and to the toe. Okay, so the next thing, the next thing we have to do is uh, enable the puppet tool. So I'm going to click on the, the layer, I'm working with the leg left here, and I'm going to click on the puppet pin tool, and I'm going to click in the top left corner of the null object. The reason I do this is the anchor of the null object is actually positioned in the top left corner and when I enable the tracking code it tracks the anchor point on the null object. Okay, So let's go back to that leg left. Maybe this is the right one. Yep. Okay, so let's click one here a point there and I have the grid, the mesh turned on um, in the puppet tool right up here. Uh, I like to see the mesh just to see what I'm dealing with. If the meshes are really high um, they can get really difficult to work with and they can slow everything down. Um, as you can see is happening right now. Okay, uh, let's put the ankle, the heel, the ball of the foot, and I'm gonna put one more on the toe right there. Okay, so now we've got all our little pins uh, stuck in the right place for the anchors. Now now the next thing I want to do, just I like just to keep things consistent, is I want to name each pin and also organize them so they're in the right uh, in the same in the same hierarchy as the as the null objects here. So I'm gonna start, I have the toe here. So Leg, uh, left, toe. Uh, anyways, I'll just rename all these and then pop back with you. 
Okay, so I have them all renamed. Um, I'm just going to reorganize them. If you want to reorganize how the pins sh show in the layer editor, all you have to do is click the layer, click the pin, and drag and drop it where you want it. So uh, I need the ankle, I want the heel under the ankle, the knee and the tibia. Okay, perfect. So these these all match. Okay, so now the next thing, the next big thing I need to do is I'm going to first of all hide these layers. I don't need them visible. And I don't need these visible either, so I'm hiding them away. Okay, so now what I have to do is I have to enable expressions on this pin and I have to get it to track the uh, the tibia or the hip joint. So I am going to paste a little piece of code in there. Let me just move this over. Oh, it's having a problem. Okay. So I dropped some code in. The only thing you need to change about this code is the name of each layer that it's referencing to and then the pin will snap to it. So I am going to do this to each pin. I'm going to copy and paste this code. And for each one of these, I'm going to name it for the layer I want it to track. Leg, left, knee. Perfect. Right. I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to, actually, if I click on the layer and I press U, it's going to reveal all animated attributes of that layer. So then that way I can just paste them in. And I don't have to worry about expanding or each each effect layer. Um, leg left, ankle, leg left. This one's going to be leg left, heel. Again, I'm just copying, I'm just pasting the code into into the expression. Alt clicking on the clock and pasting the code. And changing the name to the corresponding null object I want to track. Ball. Okay. Paste. And then this one's going to be named toe. Perfect. Okay, so now what's happening is each one of these pins is now tracking two uh, to these null objects. If I were to turn, let's say I were to turn this code off um, for, let's turn the knee off, um, I can drag and pull this pin all over the place and you can see how it's affecting our puppet. So if I enable this code, it's going to snap back to the position of that null object. So now the next step is, um, we have all these bones, but what are they doing? They're not really doing anything right now. If I rotate them, nothing nothing happens. So I need to parent each one of these layers um, so that it creates a hierarchy. So I'm going to parent the toe to the ball of the foot. Then I'm going to parent the foot, foot ball to the heel. And then I'm going to parent the heel to the ankle. And then the ankle to the knee. And then the knee to the tibia. So now what's going to happen is if I rotate the tibia, I get the whole leg moving. If I rotate the knee, the calf moves and everything else goes with it. And the ankle, perfect. And the ball of the foot, which allows me to rotate the toe. Now you may be noticing um, as I'm moving things around here is we're getting weird artifacts showing up. This sometimes happens uh, with the puppet tool on objects and all it really means is that you either need to increase the, the amount of expansion or you need to turn on transparent on. And what that'll do is that'll get rid of everything that's outside of the mesh. The tool, okay, so essentially you can see the mesh here. Every, any bit of, of the layer detail that falls outside of this mesh will become sort of flash that hangs off the sides. It's stuff that won't be included in the distortion. So that needs to be taken care of. So if you put on transparent, those little edges will disappear.